Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Alliance Tech. So today we are going to be replacing a packing on a 2 inch Frick valve. This valve is pretty old, uh, they don't make parts for it anymore, so you can't get really packing nut, the glands, and stuff for it. So we're going to go ahead and repack that valve today with some Teflon rope packing. Here it is here, go ahead and cut it on the angle so when you wrap it around the, the, the stem, it creates a, a nice seal so that you have the, 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 the angle here, uh, and you get the angle on the other side. So when you wrap it on the stem, it overlaps each other. When you pinch it down on the, on the packing, between the packing net into the gland, it, it squishes it down in there and it creates a nice seal. And then you overlap the other one. So you, I'm gonna probably put about five or six of these in there, um, depending how deep the gland is. Um, so uh, stay tuned and I'll see you inside.
Hey guys, um, so we got that packing in um, and it sealed up nice. So what we did is uh, we made sure it was back seated all the way. It was really loud in there, so um, can't really uh, talk when I got like, I had this uh, air system or CO2 system below me purging off the whole time. It was extremely loud. Um, so uh, we got our PPE on, we got our gloves, masks and stuff. So more, most importantly, you're safe. Uh, this was a two inch uh, liquid valve uh, so it, and it was live at the time so uh, you want to make sure it's back seats so when you undo the packing you want to make sure it doesn't leak out leak out that when it's back seated because if it's back seated and leaking then you got a bigger problem you can't really replace it. it's really hard to do a packing when it's leaking and if it's just leaking a tiny bit drips a little tiny little spray you can probably do the packing with all your the correct PPE on um, but this wasn't leaking at all, so it was nice. When they when they used to run this valve in, they used to run the valve all, when they opened it barely, it'd start gushing out liquid, uh, just spraying out liquid, and it was very dangerous for them to close that valve. Um, and they they closed it quite a bit. So when they were pumping out part of the facility, they have to close that valve, and if they uh, can't close it because it's leaking then it, it hinders their process down the line to be able to service the equipment down at that end of the building. So um, um, so we were able to uh, pre-pack this valve. So we backseated the valve. Uh, we took the uh, packing nut off, uh, made sure it came off without any leaking. I, I leave the valve handle on just in case it does try to blow or does start to leak a little bit. I can try to put that packing back in and try to re-backseat the valve, whatever, but or just, I don't like to take the handle off because it'll shoot your packing off. You don't want that to happen. So then I kind of clean up the shaft a little bit and I put the packing back on. I take the nut off the off the valve stem and uh, I just use my, my forward wrench. I could have grabbed another wrench for it, but I was already up there with all my gear on. I have to all run back down to my van and, and get a wrench. I, I, I just forgot that. So a uh, half inch, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> so I took that, 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 that nut off, took the hand wheel off. Um, and uh, uh, got the packing out, cleaned the stem off completely, cleaned it off, shot some solvent in there. I picked the old packing out. Here's the, the old packing right here. So this is what it looks like, okay? All the stab marks are for me stabbing it with, uh, with my, um, um, with my, uh, one, of my, one of my picks. So a bit like a pick like this, stabbing it. I have some other ones though, some Milwaukee ones that I use inside. Um, and, and, uh, popped it out of there uh, gave myself enough room to put in the new packing and uh, I put in about I put in four of them so I wrapped one in slide it in I use a packing nut I squished that one in there and I wrapped the other one the opposite direction and then I squished that one in there and I wrapped another in the opposite direction I squished that one in there and the fourth one the same exact thing but on the top of the fourth one I was able to I put some anti-seize on top of that and I put some anti-seize in the nut the packing nut and I ran that in there and I tightened it up, tightened it up real tight, loosened it, retightened it. It feels it feels like a good pack. It feels like it's a nice seal. And then I ran the hand valve in and out all the way in, cinched it up tight, ran it all the way out, and and, and it didn't leak at all. So, packing uh, repack was uh, the valve repack was a success. And uh, there's actually two more valves I got to do, uh, but right now they're working on getting. Um, uh, they're using those isolation. The, the packings leak a little bit on those valves, um, but they're working on a vessel that's uh, that's being isolated with those valves right now. It's leaking out a tiny bit, but uh, so later on I'll come back and I'll repack those valves. Uh, but as of now, this job is done, and uh, I'm gonna be getting out of here. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. I'll see you on the next one.